Hello everybody, happy Wednesday evening. Let's do some push-ups, shall we? Okay. Uh. All right, how did I push you else? It's kind of live push up. I don't want to like go all the way down, all the way up. No, just more like cardio, vascular, all right? Yeah. All right. We ready? Let's do this. Ah. <sighs> okay. Woo! Ha ha ha! Honda push ups. Ah! Uh, martial arts. Ah! Uh, Maybe belt, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. 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 Because this belt has this metal buckle at the end, I have to really. I have to be really careful about this, okay, because it can really hurt me <laughs> if I hit this metal tip of this belt, let's say, uh, my face or, I don't know, so I have to, I have to really be careful about this, okay, alright, uh, oh, <laughs> Good thing about belt is that I can control the, its length between me and this metal tip. Yeah. Yeah. That should be enough, okay? Good exercise, right? Yeah. Let's take five minutes break, please. Thank you. Whew. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah, let me change this trash can. Okay.
Okay, welcome to Humanology. Thank you for your time with me. With us. Yeah, thank you for your time with us. And uh, let's see. Let me get some more water, please. <sighs> Yeah, happy Wednesday and happy pre-Thanksgiving today. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, right? I guess. Something like that. Yeah. I guess tomorrow's Thanksgiving, I guess. <sighs> it is cold. Not too cold, it's just 8 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Inside this house. Like 80, I mean like 40, 45 degrees, something like that, yeah. So. Yeah, no Zoom meeting tonight. Uh, I didn't even look it up because uh, every Thanksgiving season, uh, I have many family friends in Alaska, okay? So they invite me over and for dinner and then I, so I, I went to one of my family friends' house. Had had a nice dinner, uh, kind of Thanksgiving style, so uh, it was nice. Okay, yeah. Right now it's like eight o'clock. Okay, so yeah, and and also they always give me like two go box, you know. Yeah, so it was very nice. Okay, so yeah. Tomorrow, Thursday, Thanksgiving Thursday. Yeah, I, I in the morning I start driving to Valdez. I booked three nights there. Okay, so. Hmm? So, and also, I, 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 the radio station in Cordoba, Alaska, they got back to me, and so we'll have uh, this one-hour interview next week during my lunch hour. Okay, so yeah, so it it, it, it is booked the radio in, show interview. Okay, they say we pre-recorded. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's so cool. But thinking about it, I did have some interview with radio shows. I think it was last year. 2020, or oh, maybe it could have been 2019, okay? Because I was running for president, okay? So the radio show that interviewed me telephonically, uh, they were based in California. And I'm not sure if they actually published it in their website or not. Okay, but I, I did have an interview with uh, Radio Talk Show before, okay? So just thinking about it, okay? Yeah. So cheers! Hmm? So, so I, uh, I'm going to Valdez and Cordoba and Valdez, they are not connected by road. But there's fa Alaska Marine Highway System ferry. So I checked the schedule. They don't have this, they're on, but not from Valdez to Cordoba. <laughs> okay. And so I checked the schedule, ferry schedule. They run during the weekends, but uh, not between Valdez and Cordoba. Okay, the ferry they go from Video to Valdez back and forth, and from Video to Cordoba back and forth. Where's Video? Uh, it's like a about an hour south of Anchorage. Okay, so, which is not too far from here, okay? About two hours from here, two, three hours, okay? Yeah. So, there's no direct line between Valdez and Cordoba. I didn't know. Well, but this weekend, uh, there's no ferry service between, uh, I mean, when it comes to Valdez and Cordoba, between uh, video, okay? So, yeah, I, uh, I really wanted to pay a visit to Cordoba, 
over this weekend, but there's just no ferry on the schedule, okay? So, okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. What else? <laughs> so, I attend like meetings, Zoom meetings, or in person uh, meetings in the valley. I listen to people. I also I talk to my friends, listen to people mostly, okay? Because I, I want to learn from them, different perspectives from people, okay? I'm a very good listener. That's kind of the reason people like me. Because I am genuinely interested in their stories and what they have to say, their opinions. People like that, okay? So, But, I, but I'm not faking it, though. I, I am genuinely interested in what they think about issues, okay? So, I mean, President Joe Biden's in infrastructure bill, okay, I, I'm against it because uh, it's going to only cause inflation. Like, when President Trump was there, 2020, uh, this uh, COVID-19 money, free money, free handout. Uh, some economists predicted that in some news articles that, yeah, e inflation will eventually happen. And it did. They were right. And I, I also predicted that, too, because I'm an economist myself, okay? Free handout, free money, yeah, it, it takes a while before inflation happens because you put free money in the system, it circulates, right? So there's some delay, some lag, lag lagging time. Uh, but infl inflation eventually happens when free handout money happens. And production go down, COVID-19, okay, so that's what we are going through now, okay. Some economists predicted that and they wrote about it. I did predict that too, okay. But I know economics, okay. So I don't think it's a good ro good mo economic model that this infrastructure bill, okay? So I disagree with President Biden on that. And it's, it was President Trump's idea too. They agree on that actually, infrastructure bill, okay? I disagree. Why? It's not a good economic model in a long model, long-term base, because I don't like this free handout money, okay? So, and government, federal government running on that, it's like Ponzi scheme. It's just no good, okay? So, we need in infrastructure, I get it, okay? In, especially in Alaska, we need more roads in rural area, okay? Uh, in rural Alaska towns, yeah, there are a lot of crimes, violent crimes, okay? Solution? Yeah, build the roads so that those remote towns can have fun by traveling. Huh? Yeah, the most infect effective inf disinfectant is light. So yeah, let's interconnect those remote towns so that people can come and go. That's got light. People. Yeah. Communication. Transportation. That's the solution for, in my opinion, for to reduce the violent crimes in remote, remote towns in Alaska. Also alcoholism, drug abuse too. Okay. And it's about transportation, building the road, interconnectivity between Alaska and remote towns, cities, okay? Yeah. Then crime will go down, okay? But I read a fund that road building, not from federal money, but from Alaska money. Yeah. Pebble mine, annual oil gas, coal, methane, some timber is industry too, okay? Yeah, Alaska have a lot of resources and also fishery, Artificial fishery, aqua, aqua farming. Yeah, Alaska have a lot of resources, tourism, everything, okay? And uh, shipping business, okay? Yeah. In, if Alaska as a state make a lot of money, then we can build a road with our own Alaska money, as opposed to relying on federal money, okay? So that, I think that's, it's better that way, okay? But I heard from seniors, okay? Yeah, they need some funding for their senior center transportation. So I might have said yes. I might have said, voted yes for this Biden infrastructure bill because 
Yeah, we can worry about inflation later because seniors, senior centers, they need money now to fund the transportation of seniors. Transit. Okay. I could have voted for yes. Okay. Well, this Biden infrastructure bill. If I were a senator now, okay, because seniors, they need money now for their transportation. Okay. But in a long term basis, yeah, I disagree. Mr. Biden and his people, they don't know what they're talking about. Mr. Trump and his people, they don't know what they're talking about either, okay? This is empty brand people, okay? That's what I'm running, okay? They just don't have the knowledge that I have in science, economics, everything. Okay? That's what I'm running, okay? So. What can I do? I keep on running, okay? Yeah. I do what I can. I do what I can. But I'm not optimistic, okay? If I ever become US Senator, US President, I can make America and the world better more quickly, okay? If I never ever become elected official, yeah, the world will still get better, but a little bit more slowly, okay? So it's not going to make too, too much difference, okay? So I just enjoy the process, just like some of my mentors told me, okay? Yeah, enjoy the process, have fun. I'm optimistic because I'm a student of history. Yeah, the world has always became, be, be, have become better and better slowly, okay? So yeah, you, you will continue to be better, okay? Yeah. The world. Yeah, I'm optimistic. We take five minutes break, okay? I have some vocal rest. So, all right. Thank you. Right. Who is cold?
Okay. What else do we talk about today? Uh, so, I mean, when I go to my family friend's house for dinner, when they invite me, I drink like one glass of red wine, okay? And um, I don't typically eat. <laughs> so I ask them to give me a to-go box, okay? <laughs> Why? I, because it's very rare occasion when I uh, pay visit to my family friends' houses, okay? So I, I, I just want to enjoy their company, and uh, so I just drink just glass of wine, a lot of water, because it's very rare occasion, so I wanted to focus on conversation and so I don't eat, I just make to-go box, okay? In poli back in the days, in political events, same way, I make a to-go box because, you know, if I go to a political event, I don't have time to eat. I'm too busy interacting with people, okay? So. Just make it to box, okay? So, yeah. Yeah. What else? Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Yeah. What else? Oh, written house case. Yeah, I, I have to agree with Democrats on that written house case, just like I agree with Democrats on January 6th, okay? Uh, written house, yeah, Mr. Written house got acquitted, okay? Of all charges, I think the jurors made a mistake there, okay? He got invited to President Trump's house in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, and took pictures with him after he got repeated. And uh, uh, MTG, what's her name? Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the congresswoman from Georgia, yeah, she wrote this legislation bill like to award Mr. Rittenhouse with Congressional Gold Medal, okay? Yeah, the Republicans are they're crazy. They're nuts, okay? Crazy people. Democrats, it's like this, okay? When Democrats are wrong, Republicans correct them. When Republicans are wrong, Democrats correct them, okay? So it's a good system, okay? Yeah, they're all the same. Republicans, Democrats, okay? They're crazy in depart different departments. <laughs> That's how I see it, okay? But Congresswoman of, of Georgia, from Georgia, Ms. Ms. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, yeah, sometimes I agree with her, okay? Like, uh, President Joe Biden appointing this uh, transgender person just because that person is transgender. Yeah, I don't think it's such a good idea at all. I don't think so. So, Ms. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she criticized about that appointment. Some admiral of some health department. Okay, if it's a health department, why do you call it admiral? Admiral is a Navy term, okay. So she criticized Mr. Biden's appointment of a trans person just because the person is trans. Yeah, she criticized and I agree, okay. I mean, I don't have anything against LGBT people, it's just that Mr. Biden appointing somebody to like high government position just because they are LGBT. I don't think that's right, okay. Because that that's not merit based. I mean what this booty Mr. Booty Judge, LGBT member, okay, from he used to be a mayor of South Bend, Indiana, right? I don't think he has any merit, okay? He's just LGBT, okay, so see President Biden appointed him as a Secretary of Transportation and Mr. Buttigieg, okay, he was like, yeah, American highway system is so racist. I'm like, 
he just wanted to make some headlines, okay? Some attentions, right? And it's nonsensical. How can a highway system can be racist? Yeah, I read a little bit about it. They say, yeah, some poor neighborhood where their ethnics maybe is not quite accessible to highway or maybe it's too close to highway. I'm like, whatever, urban development, whatever, okay. Yeah, not very smart. But next year, senatorial election, whoever get elected, I'm not worried, okay? It could be Mukorski, Chibaka, or Palin, somebody else, doesn't matter, okay? Because we are living in American democracy. They will obey people. So, American democracy, I think, is working pretty well. So, I think whoever will get elected next year, other than myself, I think they'll do just fine, okay? They'll listen to people. And yeah, sometimes the people are wrong. America, okay? Sometimes, but they're not going to be too, too bad. Some other candidates, okay? They're just, just fine, okay? So. I'm not worried at all. Okay. What else? Let me look at my note. Yeah, I'm kind of getting drunk. Oh, yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, I head out to Valdez in the morning. So uh, Valdez is, is, is like Prince William Sound or something. What is sound? It's an ocean, like a bay, big bay, okay? Inlet, okay? So uh, it's warm there because it's next to the ocean. Matsu Valley here, yeah, we have ocean too, yeah. Kunig Arm. Okay? Yeah. Kind of part, part of Cook Inlet, okay? With the ocean. From my house to get to see the ocean, it's it's like a one hour away. It's not that far away, okay? It, we have Sandy Beach here, okay? Port Mackenzie. Yeah. Yeah. But it's kind of brackish water, okay? Kind of like Lightly salty, okay? Yeah. Half fresh water, half salt water, okay? Yeah. But I checked the weather forecast for this weekend and they say here, Clinic Fairview, Washil outside, just outside of Washila. They say it's going to be like negative 10, negative 15, something Fahrenheit, okay? This weekend. But Valdez, there's like five, plus five Fahrenheit, or plus nine, something like that. So it's gonna be one more there, okay? Because that is more ocean, oceanic, ocean, ocean, seawater, okay? More seawater there, okay? So. so along from my Alaskan friends, I also check, double checked with in, in, in the internet, yeah. When you go out there, winter vacation, yeah. Let the water force it, a couple of them, drip, 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 okay? So that the pipes don't freeze over, okay? Yeah, yeah I'll do that. It's just, yeah, drip, 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 okay? Very slowly, okay? Also, hero, yeah, they recommend to put hero when you go out there in the winter vacation at 60 Fahrenheit, hero. Me, I think I put my hero like 52 or 57, okay? So that pipes don't freeze, okay? Yeah. Something like that. Because I, I, I had vacation before, okay? In the winter. It worked. 52, 57, something like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Overnight, I plug my car with this electric outlet outside, okay? Why? Because battery, yeah. You need to plug in in Alaska when it gets very cold, okay? Well, some other reasons in the world when it's cold. Yeah, so that the battery 
would not freeze. Okay, so plug in. Okay, yeah. I do that nowadays, every night. Yeah. So that my car will start in the morning. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So this Valdez. Okay. So. Thursday morning, tomorrow morning, yeah, I start driving to Valdez. I stop by Walmart to buy food. Okay, I I've been to Valdez once before. They have grocery store. Okay, but uh, I they don't have Walmart in Valdez. Okay, here, yeah, we do. Okay, so I buy plenty of food, microwave of food. I booked a hotel room. The same hotel room I've been been bef been to before, okay. Very nice hotel room, Wi-Fi, cable TV, full bathtub and microwave, small refrigerator, okay. And that's what I need when I travel to a hotel, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, so I stop by Walmart on my way out tomorrow morning. If they are open, I think they ah. Let me check. Is Walmart open tomorrow? If not, I go to gas station. I love gas station. I appreciate their service twenty four seven. Right? Yeah. I buy some food. Okay. Oh, it's going to close tomorrow. No problem. I just stop by a gas station and buy some gas station food. Oh, you know, yeah, Wasila, there are other groceries. Okay, okay, let's check out other groceries. Supermarkets, okay. To see if they are open tomorrow. Oh, they are open tomorrow. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, so they open tomorrow. Good. It's good to have multiple supermarkets. Some of them are open, some of them are not open. Okay, so I found this one supermarket that are open tomorrow morning, Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, I'll stop by and buy some food. Okay. I still have that bolt lock, bolt cutter in my car. What would I use it for? I mean, if I, I'm stranded in the middle of Alaska in this weekend travel, to cut the tree branches to make makeshift tent. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, I have two huts outside of this house in my premise, half a lot, okay? But the locks, padlocks, they're frozen. So, I would store my bolt cutter in my heart, but the padlock is frozen, okay, it's winter. Would I bring that bolt cutter in my house and store somewhere? I don't think so, okay, I, I just leave it in my car, okay, so. Yeah. And maybe if I'm... St Stranded in somewhere in Alaska over this weekend. Sure, yeah, with both color, I cut some tree branches to make some makeshift campfire. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I 
i.e. be easier to use bolt cutter to cut these three branches to make makeshift campfire if I'm stranded in the middle of Alaska over this weekend, okay? Yeah, sure. But that's not gonna happen, most likely. No, no. I have triple A rule service, okay? Yeah. If there's no cell phone recession, yeah, I will ask highway drive my fellow Alaskan highway drivers. Yeah, hey, uh, please, uh, I give you 10 bucks. So would you please call triple A for me when you get into the cell phone reception zone, please? I give you 10 bucks for it, okay? Yeah, then, because I have triple A. Uh, long distance road service plan. Okay, so, because this is Alaska. Okay, yeah, I need that. Okay, so yeah, I'm covered in my car. I have full set of tenting gear and sleeping bags in my SUV. Is what's my car is a uh, Ford Expedition. Okay, very roomy, very big SUV. Okay, so I have emergency food, emergency water. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll switch, switch out the water bottles because it's all frozen there. In my house, yeah, I have extra water bottles, so I'll switch it out, okay, so. Yeah, food, yeah, like granola bars, fruit bars, protein bars, beef jerkies, trail mix, nuts, I have all that stuff in my car, okay, so. Basically, meals ready to eat, okay, MRE, okay. Yeah. I have all that stuff in my car. Because I live in Alaska, I'm prepared. Okay. Which I find is very pleased, okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this road trip to Valdez, Alaska, okay. I've been there once, a beautiful town. Yeah. All right, fine, Miss Bruce, thank you.
Okay, so let's talk about religion, shall we? Religion. So, by the way, thank you for being with me, being with us, Human Rights Series. Uh, we have very special friends like you. Okay, yeah. Kind of boutique, moral elitist. Okay, <laughs> so thank you. So religion. I love all religions, but at the same time, I criticize all re religions out there, okay? Yeah, Prophet Muhammad Allah, in Christian, Prophet Jesus Christ, in Buddhism, Prophet Gautama Siddhartha Buddha, I don't think they are human perfections, no, far from it, okay? I criticize those saints, like Socrates, Confucius, they have good and bad, like rest, the rest of us. They have some good ideas, okay? Good morality, good ethics. But I do criticize them, okay? I don't think they're perfect human beings. No. Far from it, okay? Quite recently, I posted, copied and pasted some social media, uh, this uh, book of romance, okay? Yeah. St. Paul, quoting book of Isaiah. He kind of edited his own stuff too, okay, so. Yeah, the root, they will spring this person from root of Jesse, the father of David, King David, okay. Yeah, Gentiles will put place their hope in him or her, okay, yeah. Yeah, like Jesus, like St. Paul, apostle, they reach out to Gentiles, heathens, okay, yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I'm doing too, okay? It's a recurring theme in human history, okay? In Buddhism, Buddhist philosophy in Asia, Far East Asia, or India too, okay? Yeah, they reached out to common people to preach morality ethics, okay? To the Gentiles, okay? Yeah, it's a common theme in Buddhism, Christianity, other religions too, okay? So, that's kind of what I'm doing, okay? So, and I call it also, another passage in Book of Luke, in Bible, New Testament. Like Jesus, he invited all these people, he, is his parable, okay, to have a party. But all these people who are invited, they refused to come to Jesus' party, okay. But uh, it was his parable, okay, so yeah, so this party host, you know what, party is ready, I cooked all this food, but all the invited guests, dignitaries, they made excuses, so they are not coming, okay. So, Jesus asked his servants, you know what, go out there on the streets, just bring them all in, I don't care who they are, okay. And the only mimed, blind, the blind, the mimed, the disabled, the rejected, they came to Jesus' party. <laughs> okay. So I was like, yeah, I remember that phrase. Because in social media, okay, uh, I get this first unwanted attention from male LGBT community members, okay. There was unexpected turn. So I crack some joke about it, okay. So, is it posted in social media, okay? What did I say in social media? Yeah, you know, I didn't come to social media in order to get single females' attentions, but I'm a hundred percent heterosexual male, so I did fantasize about it. But what ended up happening is I'm getting a lot of male LGBT people's attentions. But, you know, I'm a startup politician, so I cannot quite afford to discriminate against voters. Voters are voters, okay? Yeah. Bring them all in. I mean, didn't you just come to world like 2,000 years ago to call the sinners? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Bring them all in, okay? <laughs> because LGBT community members in social media, 
they were very kind and generous to me. I told them I'm against LGBT ideology that they subscribe to. But they, by now they're okay with that. I was impressed. They embraced me. So in return, yeah, I, I embraced them too. Again, I'm against LGBT theology, but we all are, we humans, we are all different, okay? We disagree on ideological issues. Yeah, we can still be friends, despite ideological differences. So we are friends now, okay? Yeah, cheers. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Knowing that, yeah, LGBT community members, I think they are mostly in America. Okay. By the way, they write in English. Okay. I think they are mostly Americans. I think some of them are Alaskans too. Yeah. Yeah. They know my politics. Okay. They know I'm against LGBT ideology, but I told them many times, I'm not against LGBT ideology subscribers like you. I'm trying to save you from LGBT theology. Okay, so... Yeah, they don't quite agree with me, but... They embraced me. In return, I embraced them right back, okay? Because... They're ha trying to help out my campaign. I was impressed. After all the things, nasty things that I said in the social media, okay? about LGBT ideology, I was mean, okay, but they're kind of like Jesus Yan, okay, L love your enemies. So yeah, I learned a good lesson from them, LGBT community members. <sighs> God bless them, okay, yeah, they showed me Jesus Yan love, love your enemies, okay, because they support my senatorial campaign, knowing that I'm against the LGBT ideology that they subscribe to. That's very Jijashian. Unconditional love. Love your enemy. Love for your enemy. Okay. I was like, oh wow, that's so you kind and generous gentlemen and ladies, you're better than me on that account. Let me write on social media message. Give me like two minutes, okay? Yeah.
いやテレビカフェンペスト。Some other social medias. Basically, I'm sad. Yeah, thank you for forgiving me after all the mean and rude things that I said. You're my savior. You're my Jesus Christ. Let me copy and paste all this. Different social media. Because different, different group of people come to different social media outlets. Okay. The world in our fingertips, right? Cell phone internet with the internet connection. Okay, nicely done. Okay. What else? It's like almost nine o'clock. Okay, yeah, now it's kind of getting much more. All right. So. so whenever whenever I meet young people, I try to mentor them. Okay, because I have many mentors, uh, continuing mentors, okay. Many times I seek their advices. Some of my mentors, they're younger than me. Some of them. Most of them are older than me, okay. So, so yeah, in, in person or in social media, online, yeah, I do my best to have some positive influence. To people around me, okay. Mm -hmm. Do my part to make this world a better place, okay? Yeah. yeah. We are all working this together, okay? If we get you and I, you or I, if if we get into public offices, if we become famous, we will save the world together, okay? Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. That's what we are up to, okay? Humanology, we don't worship anything or anyone. Humanology is like pure science. We seek the truth. We pursue the truth. We want to know about the truth, okay? We don't worship anything or anyone in this brand of humanology, okay? We are interested in finding the truth. Justice, righteousness. Okay. That's what we are up to. Okay. Money, power, fame. Yeah. Human salvation. Yeah, sure. But that's our secondary goal. First goal in this brand of humanity, we just want to find the truth. Okay. We don't worship or we don't worship anything or anyone. Not even Jesus, not even Muhammad Allah, Buddha. No, not even God. We don't blind, we never blind, blindly worship anything or anyone or anything. We want to find the truth. So that's primary mission 
of this brand of human energy. Okay, so. Yeah. We'll take five minutes break, please. I need some more for rest, okay? And then we'll talk about Islam. I love Islam, by the way, okay? I love China, Russia, Japan, North Korea, South Korea. I love all countries, all religions. Okay? So after five minutes break, yeah, we'll talk about Islam, okay? Because I read some Wikipedia article about so Islam, okay, it was good. I love Islam, okay. It's Prophet Muhammad Allah, yeah, I like him a lot, okay. Like everybody else, like Jesus, Buddha, Prophet Muhammad Allah, some good and bad. He's only human, okay. So. So, but he got some good stuff, okay, yeah. I think he's a good prophet, mostly, okay. No one is perfect, okay. Not even prophets, not even saints. No one is perfect, okay. We're only humans. Five minutes, please. Thank you. Okay, so, I mean, I was thinking about, you know, because I, quite recently, put on social media, okay, yeah, in this brand of humanology, okay, let me introduce you to this esoteric world of humanology, I posted in social media, okay, yeah, in this brand of humanology, you are the center of the universe. We, people around you, we revolve around you. You're the star, you're the superstar, you're the sun. So keep shining your wonderful light upon us. You're your planets revolving around you. You're the sun, you're the star, okay? Yeah. You got some positive reviews, okay? Just a couple of friends like you, okay? Just a couple, okay? Yeah. That's good enough for me, okay? More than good enough, okay, so. Yeah, so how can we mathematically model this, okay? There's you, me, third person, and every in each, every and single each individual is the center of the universe, okay? So how can we mathematically model this? And the answer came from this Sufi Muslims in Turkey. Yeah, they like these guys wearing skirts, they just rotate, multiple guys, just spin around, okay? Yeah, in that movie, uh, The Fall by Indian American director Ta Mr. Tarzan. Yeah, I have DVD of that movie, okay? Yeah, so one of the scenes in that wonderful movie, okay, The Fall is about. American stunt act 
actors. Stunt artists, okay. The four, yeah, they four all the time, okay, so. Stunt actors. Huh? Yeah. It's about that, okay. Yeah, so some of the scenes in that movie by Mr. Director Tarzan, Indian American director, okay. Yeah, these uh, Sufi Muslims in Turkey, okay, they just rotate, they were guys, okay, with, and they wear skirts, okay. They just rotate like this, okay. Yeah, multiple guys, like 10 of them, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's, because I, I'm conversant in physics, okay, it's, it's a heliocentris, heliocentrism, sun is in the middle, in the, at the center, and all planets revolve around it, or geocentrism. Yeah, this Earth and the entire universe, stars and suns, planets, they revolve around us. Planet Earth. Okay? I made a mistake when I wrote that scientific article like last year, 2020, 2020, okay? Yeah, it's all the same, but it's not. Why? Because if all uh, the planet Earth is st standing still and the rest of the universe revolving around it, the planet Earth will not experience acceleration, rotational acceleration, okay? But, if the rest of the universe is standing still, is the planet or spinning around itself, then, yeah, there will be some rotational acceleration. The accelerator, accelerate, accelerate matter, the, the meter that measures acceleration, you will pick it up. Accelerometer, okay. <laughs> I'm struggling to s pronounce this English because I have a heavy Korean accent and I'm drunk too. Okay. Accelerometer, okay. This machine that measures acceleration, okay. So, yeah, it's different. Earth standing still and the rest of the universe spinning around, rotating around the Planet Earth versus the rest of the universe standing still, but the planet Earth just spinning itself. That's different because accelerometer it will pick up that acceleration. Okay, so it's not quite equivalent. So I made that mistake and I did correct it later on. Okay, it's some academic papers I wrote last year. Okay, so yeah. So how can uh, every single person on planet Earth can be center of the universe? Yeah, maybe they just spin around themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like this, okay? When I go to work, I rotate. I talk to my boss, my colleague, my client, then my boss, my colleague, my client, rotate in my work hours as a lawyer in Alaska. Huh? Yeah. In my life, I rotate. My job, day job as a lawyer, after that, my political campaign. After that, human series. After that, dinner. After that, sleep. After that, wake up in the morning and I go to take a bath and I drive to work. Rotation. And then I go to, yeah, to my job as a lawyer. After that, politics. After that, human energy. Eat, dinner, sleep, wake up and take a bath. And so on, it's rotation, okay? I'm just spinning around. Yeah, hello boss, hello colleague, hello client, hello friends, social media, hello bathroom, hello dinner, hello bedroom. It's rotation, circle. Yeah. I mean, in Western tradition, okay, this rondo dancing, circle dance, in partnership dancing, yeah, you have 10 guys and 10 girls. They rotate. They switch partner. 
I nothing promiscuous or anything. It's just dancing, Western traditional dancing. Okay. Yeah, ten girls, ten boys. They switch partner every five seconds. Okay, it's like speed dating. Okay, yeah. So this is girl one through girl ten, and boy one to boy ten. Okay, in rotate is double layer. Okay, like onion. Okay, yeah. I I I have experienced that kind of dancing in Korea and in America too. Okay, yeah. Partners dancing, just rotate partners, switch partners, no problem, okay? Yeah, it's like that, okay? From a girl's point of view, yeah, this girl get to dance with boy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. From boy's point of view, this one boy get to dance with girl 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Okay, so this uh, egocentrism in humanology is very natural. Okay, I mean psychology they kind of condemn it egocentrism as narcissism, but in humanology, yeah, we know better than psychology or psychiatry. Okay, egocentrism is just natural. It's just the way it is. Nothing bad or good. It's just the way it is. Okay, yeah, we embrace egocentrism. Okay. Yeah. So, I found that mathematical solution to this problem, like every human being is center of the universe. What's the solution for that problem? Okay. How can we mathematically model that? Yeah, it's that rondo dancing in Western tradition or Turkish. Sufi Islamic tradition self rotation, okay. Yeah. I was inspired by that, okay. So, yeah. So I'm now I'm telling you, okay? That's the solution. You just rotate yourself. Yeah, you eat, go to bathroom, take a bath, go to work, do your hobby, eat dinner, go to bed, and then go to work tomorrow. Have lunch, talk to your boss, talk to your colleagues, talk to your clients, talk to your friends after work, social media, eat dinner, go to bed, sleep, and then yeah, is rotation, clock rotation, okay? Yeah. So you are the center of the universe. And everybody is. Yeah. Just rotation. Each individual spinning around. Meeting these different people, doing different things, one at a time, and coming right back next day, okay? So cool, okay? Yeah, it's Islam, Buddhism, okay, biology, okay? It's all the same thing, okay? So welcome to humanology. Welcome to humanology. We are all about knowledge, discovery. We want to unlock the door. Secret door. We are all about unlocking the door to the secret truth. That's our primary goal. Yeah, forget about my politics. I don't have to get elected, okay? My primary goal. I I don't know about you, okay? You do whatever you want, okay? But if you are here, Perhaps you can't interest in finding the truth. That's what we are after here in this brand of humanology, okay? We want to find the truth, advanced knowledge for our personal entertainment, intellectual entertainment, and also for future generations' sake. Okay? It's not money, power, fame, politics, no, it's not that, okay? Uh, our primary goal here in this brand of humanity, we want to post the truth, find the truth, intellectual entertainment, discovery of esoteric knowledge. And that's our primary goal in this brand of humanity. Okay? So welcome to humanity. Okay? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me. Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Thank you.
and we are working on this together, this venue, okay, because my content generous a few very handful few friends of mine like you or in social media. Yeah, I only have very few good friends. I don't have that many friends, okay? Yeah. We are working on this together, okay? You teach me, I teach you is a mutual exchange of information, knowledge, okay? And I support you, you support me, okay? So we were working on this together. It's joint venture, joint venture, collaboration, okay? It's very metaphysical concept here, okay. So. Okay, it's nine o'clock, okay, and um I'm kinda of feeling hungry, okay, so but we take five minutes away, okay? And we talk about an obscure branch of Islam. I really enjoy reading it. I love Islam, it's beautiful Quran. Beautifully written. I only read a couple of pages in Quran, but beautifully written, okay. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad Allah, very good writer, very good speaker, very charismatic, okay. He's no perfect human being. Jesus, I don't think Jesus was a perfect human being either. Okay? Buddha, Confucius, Socrates, Mr. Zoroaster, Zarathustra of Persia, I don't think they are perfect human beings, but they got some good ideas. So. Their legacy lasting even today, after thousands, thousands of years, okay. So yeah, I acknowledge, admit, they got some good stuff. But I don't think they are perfect human beings. No. Far from it, okay. We take five minutes break, please. Thank you. I start cooking my dinner, okay. Uh, I am getting really hungry, okay? So. But, thank you.
So, yeah, I love Jews, Islam, Muslims, Jews, Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, Confucianists. I love Hindus. I love everyone, okay? Yeah, all religions, okay? I love all them, okay? So, I mean, I'm Asian, so obviously I'm no Jew. I, I mean, yeah, there are some Asian Jewish people. I guess there could be some, okay? Because I read some obscure articles in Wikipedia, okay? In Back in the days in China, yeah, there's some Jewish population in China. Like 500 years ago, something like that, okay? So, even today, it's, uh, there are some descendants of Jewish immigrants to China. Very rare occasion, okay? But I am a huge fan of some esoteric, obscure human history, okay? So I, I, I did read some about this Jewish migration to China back in the days, like secret days, okay? About 500 years or something like that, okay? Yeah, there's some descendants of Jews in China, okay? Yeah, I read about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not very well known, okay? So, yeah, some black Jews, Middle Eastern, brown Jews, white Jews. I think there are some Asian Jews too, <laughs> okay? Yeah, I read about it, okay? All right. Now, yeah, Islam, I love Islam, okay? Yeah, uh, so what I read about Islam is that there's some bad kind of innovation. Well, before I read it, about bad kind of innovation in Islam, okay? They condemn it, okay? I read about that article in Wikipedia like two days ago, okay? Be way before that, when I was in law school, back in, I was in law school between uh, 2013 and 2015. It must have been 2014 when I wrote this anti-LGBT paper, 172 pages long, okay? I make it no secret, I advertise it, okay? Yeah, in social media, okay? In, there's no secret, I'm open book, I'm honest, okay, so. It's academic, academic discussion of LGBT reality, okay, so. That was like seven years ago, that was 2021, back in the days, 2014, when I was in law school, okay? Seven years ago. Yeah, I said, yeah, nothing every, not everything that is new is a good new. There's some bad new and good new. Novelty, something new, it could be good or it could be bad. Seven years ago, I wrote that, okay, part of that anti-LGBT paper I wrote in law school seven years ago. 172 pages long over some summer like summer semester okay yeah but a couple of days ago i read this wikipedia article about this uh, yeah shia muslim shia islam sunni islam they're both school they're different i love them both okay shia and sunni sectors in Islam, okay? I love them both. They're different and they're very cool, both of them, okay? Yeah. So they talk about this basically heresy. Yeah, in Islam, in Christianity, what is heresy is something new and something very bad, okay? So in Islam tradition, they talk about bad kind of innovation. In Christian world, they talk about this man's, human's invention, artificial human invention. It's not from God, it's from people. Bad kind of invention, okay? Imagination, human imagination, okay? In Christianity language, okay? Islam language in English, yeah, bad kind of innovation, okay? I partially agree because not everything new is good. There's some good new and bad new. How about old? Yeah, them bad old, good old. Okay? Just because something is very old, it does not mean it's good or bad. It could be good, it could be bad. Something very old, traditional, thousand years long, okay? If it's something very new, it could be good, it could be bad. Just because something is new, it does not always mean it's good 
or it's bad. It's half and half. Something new is good, at, good or bad, half of time, 50-50, okay? Something old, good and bad, 50-50, okay? Currently, you're from what I discovered independently like seven years ago, okay? So this Islamic texts, there was like thousands of years ago, okay? Well, Islam, they started like 700 AD, something like that, okay? So maybe 1,000 some years ago, okay? Yeah. Way before I was born, okay? Okay, I just wanted to mention that. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Well, yeah, I have Korean accent and I'm drunk. I'm slurring, okay? But Google to provide. Yeah, turn the closed caption on. Seriously, okay? I won't be uh, offended. Okay? If you don't understand my English, I don't get offended, okay? So, no problem. Yeah, turn the CC, okay? Google YouTube, they're doing great. This artificial voice recognition, okay? I used to be a computer programmer, okay? So I appreciate computer programmers, okay? Yeah. Okay? Because the Sufi Muslims, they got persecuted in Egypt about 10 years ago, something like that, okay? Yeah, Sufi Muslims, okay? Some traditional Muslims thought that Sufi branch of Islam is partially based on Shia, also Sunni branch, okay? I think it's mostly Shia, okay? Or branch of Islam. Yeah, they thought there is something new and something bad, so that's like heresy. Huh? Eh? So some Sufi Muslims got persecuted, okay? I'm sad, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sufi Muslims, yeah, they're the ones with this rotational dancing, guys with scourge, okay? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, very inspirational, okay, very spiritual. Yeah, so very uh, esoteric and mysticism. Yeah, Sufi Islam is the very mystical mysticism, okay, branch of Islam, okay? I'm a huge fan, okay? Beautiful dancing, okay? Very meditational, okay. I mean, Christianity too. Christianity, yeah, there's many different denominations, branches of thoughts, okay. Yeah. How about human analogy? Yeah. Maybe a thousand years later, from today, maybe 3000 AD, yeah, there could be many branches of human analogy, okay. But we advocate for peace. Peace. Yeah. No violence. Uh, we practice martial arts. We kick and punch in there, okay? We don't even make any noise, like shadow boxing, shadow kickboxing. We just kick and punch in there, okay? We don't make any noise. And we don't hurt any plants, animals, people, even objects. We don't. We just punch and kick in the air, okay? We are pro-peace. We are anti-violence, okay? This brand of humanology. Yeah, we do try to get some political power so that we get some prominence, fame, so that we can save the world more effectively and faster. Okay? Yeah. So, we run for political offices. Yeah, we do. Okay. But that's our secondary goal. Our first goal, we push the truth. We seek the truth. We want to find the truth first. And after that, uh, we want to teach the people. It's like that Jesus said. First, love God. Second, love the people. That's what Jesus said. Yeah. In this humanistic interpretation of that, Jesus' phrases, lessons. Yeah, first, 
Learn the truth. Seek and discover, uncover the truth. Learn it, the truth. Justice, righteousness, truth. Once we learn the truth, we want to teach the truth to the people. Yeah, yeah, we be educators, teachers, politicians, celebrities, so that we share what we have learned to the rest of the world. Like just like Jesus said, share it with your brothers and sisters. Okay, yeah, uh, that's my background. I've Christian background. Okay, Jesus, I don't think he's perfect person. He was too jealous of establishments. He was angry at establishment people. He cursed at them. He hated his enemies. He didn't. Jesus did not quite walk the talk. Jesus' crucifixion. Yeah, he said. Yeah. What's that? The uh, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabakani. God, God, why did you abandon me? That's why the, the last sentences that he just said on the on the cross. Okay. I'm sorry, but maybe Jesus was expecting some juice machina kind of thing, maybe some salvation before he died, but he didn't come. Okay, maybe that's the proof that Jesus was not quite son of God. Okay. I <laughs> was exposed to that kind of narrative concept from my friends. Okay, maybe Jesus was not the son of God. Okay, maybe he was expecting something else. Maybe he expected his father or God would rescue him from this pain and suffering when he was, he was on the crucifixion, on the cross. But it didn't happen, so he died. Maybe that's the proof that Jesus was a son of God, okay? That's very obscure concept, and I learned from some of my friends, okay? It's not from me, it's from some of my friends, okay? Maybe my friends learned from somebody else, okay? But I think that has a good concept there. Okay. Maybe Jesus did not know he would die on the cross. Maybe he thought he would be rescued to heaven before he died by his Father God. But it didn't happen, so he was disappointed. So he said, God, God, Father, Father, why did you abandon me? Maybe that's the proof that Jesus was not Actually, son of God. Okay. I like that theory, okay? Yeah. No, I did not come up with this. I learned it from my friends. Maybe my friends learned from somebody else. But that's a good concept, in my opinion, okay? So, in Islam, yeah, Jesus did not die on the cross. Before that happened, yeah, God came to rescue Jesus before he died. Jesus died, okay? So Jesus never died. That's Islamic tradition interpretation of this crucifixion of Jesus, okay? I like that concept too. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, very uh, heresy, like apocrypha, non-orthodox. But I have read some Bibles that's not quite orthodox. Okay, yeah, some Catholic Bible, they have this apocrypha, non orthodox, okay, in Catholic tradition. I, I read some of that too. Okay, yeah. Like Book of Baruch, Baruch, yeah. I just study, okay. Yeah. What else? Uh, we can talk about Korean shamanism, Buddha, okay? I'm not a huge fan of that Korean tradition, Korean shamanism, Buddha. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you, okay? I'm sorry. But I appreciate that Korean shamans, they are females, strictly Buddha, okay? I like that part, it's a gender egalitarianism, okay? 
Korean shamans, Korean Aboriginal religion, okay, Mudan. Yeah, they are traditionally strictly females. I like that part, but some other things that they do, I don't like it, okay? So. What else? It's not in my note that I wrote down in the in my cell phone. <coughs> so Jesus, Islam, religions. Just one thing that I want to talk about. I, I'm trying to remember, guys. So Jesus said, by the way, I love Book of Revelation. There's some good stuff there, okay? Yeah, written by Jesus' favorite disciple, Saint John, okay, in Patmos Island or whatever island, okay? So, I like parts of Book of Revelation. There are some other parts I don't like, it, okay? It's half and half, okay? So, the way I approach the Bible, yeah, I read it with grain of salt, okay? Half good, half bad. Yeah, take the goods, reject the bad, okay? But there's something else, I want, something else I wanted to talk about in religion, like Islam, Christianity. Yes. <sighs> what was that? Time to remember. I don't remember, okay, so let's take five minutes break, please, okay? I try to remember, okay. So there's something I want I really didn't want to talk about. Yes, let's say trace back in the memory lane, okay. We talked about Jesus, Muhammad Allah. Uh They're not perfect human beings, and Jesus is parable. Very mysterious, right? Two thousand years ago, he was on the cross, crucifixion, right? Oh yeah, symbolism. Same analogy. I just tell you right away. Before I forget, okay? Yeah, the cross. Horizontal bar, short and long vertical bar, okay? The cross. Symbolism. Same analogy, okay? Yeah, it's very compact and efficient language that represent anything. Symbolism. Same analogy, okay? Yeah. This single graphical symbol, cross, like this, okay? Yeah. Short horizontal bar and long vertical bar, two lines, okay? It's more efficient than spelling out Christianity, like C H R I T I A N I T Y. Long letters, right? But it's just compacted by this symbolism. Two bars looks like T, right? Representing Christianity. So yeah, symbolism, highly compact and efficient language. Okay? You drive on the highway, on the road, you see the cross, horizontal bar and vertical bar. Cross, so two lines, horizontal and vertical, okay? 
Hey, you install it like one it's a church. But if they have road sign, Christianity, C H R I T I A N I T Y, you don't have to read all that stuff, okay? So, but Christian symbol, cr cross, in general, symbolism, there's Buddhist symbol, Nazism symbol, or Trump, garbage Trump, Maga. Maga's God is Trump, okay? That's bad religion, okay? BLM religion, I, I, I don't like it either. Joey Floyd. Maga God, Trump, BLM God, Joey Floyd, they're both murderers and they're both criminals. Trump and George Floyd, they're all the same. They are dirty murderers. Well, George Floyd, he was not a murderer. Trump, I think Trump was a murderer. I think he, I think he should go to jail. George Floyd, he was not a murderer. I think Trump is a murderer. Seven people died from January 6th. He caused that stuff. He caused death of seven people. Some of them died by suicide. So what? Yeah, President Trump, he should go to jail for secondary murder. Reckless disregard of human life. I think President Trump should be in jail for secondary murder. Okay? Mr. George Floyd, he was a career criminal, but he did not kill anybody. Mr. Trump did. He caused the death of seven people. January 6th. He should be in jail for secondary murder. Yeah. That's, well, that's what I think. Democrats, they are crazy enough to worship George Floyd, the career criminal. Republicans, they are crazy enough to worship this secondary murder of Donald Trump. Okay. So Democrats and Republicans, they are same. They are crazy people. All right. That's what I think. Okay. Okay. So symbolism, same analogy, study of symbols. Okay. I want to contribute to their study. Okay. They got some good stuff already, but I want to contribute. Okay. Yeah. Symbolism like cross or Buddhist palm symbol or Nazism, swastika that they hijack and stole from Buddhism. Whatever symbolism out there, okay, it saves time and money and space, okay, it's very compact language. So that we don't have to spell out this word, like Christianity, how many words is it? C-H-R-I-S-T-I-S. A N I T Y. It's like 12, 12 characters, 12 letters, okay. But Christianity in symbolism, same analogy, okay, it's two bars, letter T. Okay? We get it, okay? Very highly compact and efficient language. Symbology. Symbols. Same analogy, okay? Yeah, that's our contribution, our two cents about same analogy, study of symbols, okay? Be highly compact, okay? Yeah. Let's wrap up tonight, okay? I gotta eat. It's like 9 o'clock, okay? It's almost 10 o'clock, okay? I have to eat, you know, sleep. Tomorrow, yeah, I wake up early. Go to a supermarket that's open, okay? What's the name of that supermarket? Yeah, in our Wasila, okay, we have cars, Fred Myers, and Walmart, okay? The, Three big supermarket, okay. I checked cars. I love cars. I love Fred Myers too, okay. They specialize in different things, okay. Yeah, so I think I stopped by cars and back into the safe ways, okay. Yeah, 
Uh, fantastic cooks and amazing. Great stuff, okay, so. Well, my, we, we'll be close tomorrow, okay, I checked, okay. Maybe Fred Myers, I didn't check, okay, so. Cars, they, they are open tomorrow morning, okay, so. I buy some food and, yeah. And this Thanksgiving weekend, okay, it will be marathon Friday night of Hunky Day, okay. It's pre Friday, Thursday night, on Friday, after Friday, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like Thanksgiving marathon of Friday night with Hunky Day episode, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, okay, so. I watch a lot of cable TV in my hotel room in Valdez, Alaska, okay. So tomorrow morning, yeah, probably wake up like 6 or 7. Eat my breakfast, take a bath, dress up, and maybe I'll run in the morning. And then I start driving like 9 o'clock in the morning. Stop by supermarket, buy some food, okay, beef jerkies, granola bars, fruit snacks, something healthy, okay, beef jerkies, and plenty of water, fruit snacks, okay, yeah. maybe some dried fruits, mixed nuts, something I can eat. Easily in my car, in resting areas. So I start driving nine nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning. Okay, probably it'll take like ten hours to get to Valdez because I take frequent stops. If I'm sleepy, I park my car safely in the rest resting area. Okay, I do stretching, running, eating in. Safe parking lot of the resting area, go to bathroom, take pictures, okay? So 10 hours from 9 o'clock a.m., 7 o'clock p.m., okay? My hotel rooms are booked up, it's all booked, I reserved it, okay, in Valdez, Alaska, okay? So yeah, no problem, I already, already pay for it, okay, so, online. Yeah, so, it was a nice trip, I look forward to it. Happy Thanksgiving! Thank you for giving me your time and generosity, your wisdom, knowledge. We are working this together, okay? When you and I, we get up there, we we'll save the world. That's in our agenda. I hope you get there first, before I do. I don't have that much chance. Get up there, be a politician, get elected officials, okay? Me? I just stay behind, stay low, lay low, okay? Maybe I'll never get elected. I hope you get elected first, okay? I never, maybe I'll never get elected, no problem, okay? Every time I lose, every other year, because I will run every other year in Alaska, U.S. Congressman, U.S. Senator, I'll ask a gubernatorial election, okay? I keep on running, okay? Most likely, I'll lose every single time of my life. Most likely, I will never get elected. I hope you do. Okay? I'll vote for you. I'll vote for you, okay? But most likely, I will never get elected. No problem, okay? I have a good job. I have my house. I have my car, okay? I make enough money to pay the bills. That's what I need. So, after I lose elections, okay, I hunker down in my house and type it all, write it all, what I've learned during election seasons, okay. I research, I cranking out, I start cranking out just like the last year. I wrote like 10, 12 academic articles after I lost the election last year, okay. I do the same thing. Every time I lose my election, I hunker down and write it all down. 
what I've learned. I do some research. Academic papers. I start cranking out, okay. Like one paper per month. Okay. So, to spread the words, to share knowledge, our discoveries, esoteric, and also exotic humanology. Yeah? Welcome to humanology. Anything goes, okay? No problem, okay? Yeah, I don't have to get elected, okay? I hope you do, okay? So, go get it. Okay? Save the world. Be a politician. Get elected. I vote for you, okay? Yeah? Get elected. Be a politician. Save the world. Okay? Okay? Me? Don't worry about me. I don't know how to take care of myself. I came to Alaska six years ago all by myself. Because I wanted to be part of this Alaska adventure after watching these Alaskan documentaries, TV shows, okay? I know how to survive all by myself, okay? I studied how to edible plants, how to trap animals, how to make fishing poles, how to fish. In theory, I learned, okay? How to make fire, okay, without lighter. I, I, in theory, I, I did learn all this survival skills. Don't worry about me. Okay? I did study survival skills, okay? But for you, I want you to be a politician run for public offices, get elected, and save the world. Okay? Yeah. Me? Don't worry about me. Okay? I know how to survive. I know how to be happy. I'm a human narcissist. Okay? Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Thank you for giving me your time, generosity, and kindness, and friendship, and mentorship, guidance. Thank you. God bless you for generations to come. Thank you. Have a good night, okay?